This video is designed to help you become an expert. Remember that in the next rubric, the one that we're writing about a biography, or we're well, actually writing a biography, you need to be an expert in one of the top four boxes, I guess would be the best word. So you're going to either need to be an expert in organization, content, sentence flow, or sentence quality. This video will show you how to be an expert in sentence quality. Let's take a look at the rubric. For sentence quality, you need to do all that the practitioner does and add in dialogue when appropriate. An important part of this is when appropriate. This video is designed to give you two different strategies to find appropriate places to put dialogue in a nonfiction piece. Let's review what dialogue is. Dialogue is when characters talk to each other. Typically, we use quotation marks, a comma, and said, and the character's name. Now, this could kind of be a problem because you're writing to explain the important contributions that the scientist or the inventor has made. Typically, nonfiction pieces don't have dialogue. So how can we make this happen? Hmm... But we can also use dialogue to show famous quotes that the inventor or scientist said. Here's two. Research is what I am doing when I don't know what I'm doing. I love that quote. Those who dwell among the beauties and mysteries of the earth are never alone or weary of life. Rachel Carson. So you can choose to find a really interesting quote that the scientist or inventor has said, and you can use that within your biography. Try to remember when using those quotes. You want to make sure that the quote actually adds to the understanding of the main idea of the paragraph. You don't want to just plop it anywhere in the book. And think of it this way. Quotes can make great conclusions. If you can find one that summarizes how your inventor or scientist feels or what they stood for, that quote would be a perfect way to end your essay. There's another way, and it might be a little more difficult than a quote. Some scientists or inventors, maybe they might have said something famous when their invention worked. An example that I came up with was Alexander Graham Bell said a famous quote the first time the phone worked. When he talked into the phone, it was important and it was documented what he said on that very first phone that worked for the very first time. So that would be a great place to include dialogue. Of course, all inventors don't have that. So you might have to be a little creative to use it this way or go back to the idea of using a quote. So now you've got two different ways. You can find a quote that the scientist or inventor said and make sure it matches your paragraph. Remember that it can make a great conclusion. Or you can choose something the inventor said during the invention process and use this dialogue within your biography. So now you're ready to be the expert. Remember, you can do it. Go for it.